today's topic is cut offs and resonances we have consider the propagation of hydromagnetic waves when e1 vector is perpendicular to b0 vector for extraordinary wave for extraordinary wave when e1 vector is perpendicular to b0 vector and propagation of electromagnetic wave is perpendicular to b0 vector k vector is perpendicular to b0 vector electromagnetic wave is propagating perpendicular to b0 vector and and e1 vector is perpendicular to b0 vector this is the case of extraordinary wave we have found the dispersion relation which is given by this equation c square upon bp square equal to 1 minus omega p square upon omega square into omega square minus omega p square upon omega square minus omega h square here vp is phase velocity vp is equal to omega upon k and omega p is electron plasma frequency and omega h square we have written here for omega p square plus omega c square omega c is electron cyclotron frequency omega p is electron plasma frequency and omega h square is equal to omega p square plus omega c square where omega c is electron cyclotron frequency vp phase velocity is omega upon k so in left hand side we have c square k square upon omega square if we put vp equal to omega upon k left hand side becomes c square k square upon omega square so this is the relation between omega and k and it is the dispersion relation this is the dispersion relation for the extraordinary wave now we define cut off and resonance a cut off occurs in a plasma when refraction index n goes to zero or wavelength becomes infinite so this is the definition of cut off cut off occurs when n equal to 0 n is the refractive index this is the definition of refractive index n n is equal to c upon v c is the speed of light in vacuum divided by v v is the speed of light in plasma so this is the definition of n refractive index and cut off occurs when n equals to 0 n equal to c upon v 
and v is v p which is omega upon k so this n which is equal to c upon v we can write it as equal to c k upon omega by putting v equal to omega upon k so when n is equal to 0 k is also equal to 0 and k is equal to 2 pi upon lambda so k equal to 0 means lambda equal to infinity lambda is wavelength k is propagation constant so the condition of cutoff is n equal to 0 refractive index n becomes 0 or lambda becomes infinity this is the condition of cutoff resonance a resonance occurs in a plasma when refraction index n goes to infinity or wavelength becomes zero condition for resonance is this that n equal to infinity when refractive index n becomes equal to infinity this is the condition of resonance as n equal to c upon v and v is equal to omega upon k so n is equal to c k upon omega n equal to infinity means k equal to infinity and k is 2 pi upon lambda so k equal to infinity means lambda equal to 0 so remember the two conditions for cutoff and resonance for cutoff refractive index n is equal to 0 for resonance refractive index n is equal to infinity n equal to 0 means k equal to 0 and n equal to infinity means k equal to infinity as a wave propagates through a region in which omega p and omega c are changing it may encounter cutoffs and resonances a wave is generally reflected at a cutoff and it is absorbed at a resonance so at cutoff wave is reflected and at resonance it is absorbed from the dispersion relation of extraordinary wave this is the dispersion relation for extraordinary wave c square upon vp square equal to 1 minus omega p square into omega square minus omega p square divided by omega square into omega square minus omega h square now we write vp equal to omega upon k so c square k square upon omega square is equal to 1 minus omega p square into omega square minus omega p square divided by omega square into omega square minus omega h square here omega h square is equal to omega p square plus omega c square omega p is electron plasma frequency and omega c is electron cyclotron frequency remember these two omega omega p and omega c omega h is related to omega p and omega c omega p is electron plasma frequency and omega c is electron cyclotron frequency omega h square is equal to omega p square plus omega c square now what is the condition of cutoff condition of cutoff is that 
n must be equal to 0. n equal to c upon v, v is omega upon k, so n equal to c k upon omega, n equal to 0 means k equal to 0. This is the condition of cutoff. So for cutoff, n is 0, it means k is 0. So c square k square upon omega square must be equal to 0. So the right hand side will be equal to 0. So the condition of cutoff is obtained by putting this right hand side equal to 0 which is 1 minus omega p square into omega square minus omega p square upon omega square into omega square minus omega h square. Put this quantity equal to 0 and we get the condition of cutoff. This equation gives omega p square into omega square minus omega p square divided by omega square into omega square minus omega h square equal to 1. Now put the value of omega h square. Omega h square is omega Omega h square is equal to omega c square plus omega p square. Put this value of omega h square in left hand side in denominator. Now in left hand side in numerator we have omega square minus omega p square and in denominator we also have this term omega square minus omega p square in denominator we have omega square minus omega p square and also have minus omega c square with it so we divide numerator and denominator by omega square minus omega p square. So in numerator if we divide by omega square minus omega p square it cancel it. So remaining term is 1 and in denominator inside the bracket omega square minus omega p square when it divided by omega square minus omega p square it gives 1 and the remaining term is minus omega c square which is divided by omega square minus omega p square. So we get this relation. Now omega p square upon omega square becomes equal to 1 minus omega c square upon omega square minus omega p square or 1 minus omega p square upon omega square will become equal to omega c square upon omega square minus omega p square. Now in right hand side we divide numerator and denominator by omega square. So right hand side becomes equal to omega c square upon omega square divided by 1 minus omega p square upon omega square. In left hand side we have 1 minus omega p square upon omega square. In right hand side in the denominator we also have 1 minus omega p square upon omega square 
so this equation becomes equal to 1 minus omega p square upon omega square whole square equal to omega c square upon omega square if we take under root of this we find 1 minus omega p square upon omega square equal to plus minus omega c upon omega multiplying by omega square we get omega square minus omega p square equal to plus minus omega omega c or this equation can be written as omega square minus plus omega omega c minus omega p square equal to 0 this is quadratic equation in omega the first term is for omega square second term is for omega and the third term is without omega so this is quadratic equation in omega each of the two signs will give a different cutoff frequency these are actually two equations one with minus sign and one with plus sign so we can find the value of omega because this is quadratic equation and we know that solution of quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 solution of this equation is x equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a so we can solve this equation and find the value of omega because it is quadratic equation in omega so if we compare it with the equation a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 so we have a equal to 1 b is minus plus omega and c is minus omega p square so omega will be equal to minus b it means plus minus omega c b is minus plus omega c so minus b is plus minus omega c so minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 ac b square minus 4 ac will give omega c square plus 4 omega p square and divided by 2 a a is 1 so divided by 2 so we have this half so we have two values of omega one is half into omega c plus under root omega c square plus 4 omega p square and the second is half into minus omega c plus under root omega c square plus 4 omega p square here we have ignored the negative sign before this under root before this under root we must have plus minus sign but we have here ignored the minus sign omega is always positive so only positive sign is taken in front of a square root so by taking only the positive sign we find the two values of omega because in this equation we have two signs minus plus in the middle term so these two values of omega we write as omega r and omega l the difference is 
in the first term we have plus omega c inside the bracket and in the second term we have minus omega c inside the bracket. So the term with plus omega c is written as omega r and the term with negative omega c minus omega c we write it as omega l. So solution of this equation will give two values of omega which we write as omega r and omega l and we have ignored the negative sign before the square root because omega is always positive omega is angular frequency it must always be positive <laughs> so these are the frequencies for cutoffs at these values of frequency omega at omega equal to omega r and omega equal to omega l cutoff occurs cutoff means n equal to 0 these two frequencies omega r and omega l are shown in this diagram this is the graph between omega p square upon c square versus omega v p square upon c square versus omega curve on y axis here we have written v phi square upon c square so read it as v p square upon c square v p is phase velocity which is omega upon k so it is actually omega square upon c square k square v p phase velocity is omega upon k so this is the graph between v p square upon c square which is omega square upon c square k square versus omega omega is the angular frequency these are the two values of omega which we find as omega l and omega r omega l is smaller than omega r because in omega l omega l we have written for minus sign with omega c look inside the bracket in omega l we have inside the bracket minus omega c and in omega r we have inside the bracket plus omega c so omega l is smaller than omega r So omega L is smaller than omega R. These are the two frequencies shown here. And these are the frequencies at which cutoff occurs. Cutoff means n equal to 0. n equal to 0 means k equal to 0. But this is the graph between vp square upon c square versus omega so vp square upon c square is omega square upon c square k square and for cutoff k will be equal to 0 so this vp square upon c square will be infinity at cutoff so we see here at omega equal to omega l and at omega equal to omega r this value on y axis vp square upon c square 
will becomes infinity. It means k equal to 0 or n equal to 0 which is the condition of cutoff. So these are the frequencies of cutoff, cutoff frequencies and at these frequencies omega L and omega R electromagnetic wave will be get reflected. Condition of resonance is obtained by putting k equal to infinity in dispersion relation. Condition for resonance is n equal to infinity or, or k equal to infinity. If we put k equal to infinity in the dispersion relation, this is the dispersion relation. If we put k equal to infinity, k will become infinity if the denominator in right hand side in second term of right hand side we have denominator as omega square into omega square minus omega h square k will be infinity if this term is 0 omega square into omega square minus omega h square. So k will be infinity for two cases when either omega is 0 or omega square equal to omega h square. So at omega equal to 0 k is infinity and at omega equal to omega h it is also equal to infinity. So condition for resonance is omega square minus omega h square equal to 0 or omega equal to omega h and omega h is under root omega c square plus omega p square. This is the condition of resonance w omega equal to omega h. This is the omega h. Omega h is in between omega l and omega r. And at omega equal to omega h, this vp square upon c square is equal to 0. It means k is infinity here. k is infinity at omega equal to omega h and n is infinity, refractive index is infinity. So at omega equal to omega l and omega equal to omega r, we have conditions of cutoffs where vp square upon c square is infinity and at omega equal to omega h we have condition of resonance where vp square upon c square is equal to 0 and vp square upon c square is also equal to 0 at omega equal to 0 at the origin because we have the conditions for resonance as omega equal to 0 and omega equal to omega h. In this way this is the graph of vp square upon c square versus omega we have found cutoffs at omega equal to omega l and omega equal to omega r and we found resonance at omega equal to omega h At resonance, both phase velocity and group velocity approaches to zero. The extraordinary wave is partly electromagnetic and partly electrostatic. At resonance, this wave loses its electromagnetic character and becomes an electrostatic oscillation. The cutoff and resonance frequencies divide the dispersion diagram into regions of propagation and non-propagation. 
this is the dispersion diagram it is divided into two parts one is the region of propagation this is the region where omega is positive v p square upon c square means omega square upon c square k square it is the graph of omega square upon c square k square and now we have some regions where this omega square upon c square k square is positive we have some regions where omega is positive and we in some regions we have this omega as negative so region of propagation is one in which omega is positive these regions are shown between omega l and omega h the region between omega l and omega h it is the region of propagation because in this region vp square upon c square is positive and also when omega is greater than omega r then also this region is also region of propagation because in this region we also have vp square upon c square positive so these are the two regions regions of propagation when vp square upon c square are positive one region is between omega is in between omega l and omega h and other region is when omega is greater than omega r and these two regions of propagation are divided by this region when omega is between omega h and omega r this region is shown by cross shaded region this cross shaded region in which omega is between omega h and omega r this is the region of non propagation because in this region vp square upon c square is negative which is not possible similarly this cross shaded region is also the region of non propagation because in this region when omega is between 0 to omega l vp square upon c square is negative the cut off and resonance frequencies divide the dispersion diagram into regions of propagation and non propagation following figure shows the dispersion of extraordinary wave vp square upon c square is omega square upon c square k square and the graph is plotted between this vp square upon c square versus omega and when omega is correct it, it is not greater than omega h omega square upon k square is positive and propagation is possible so so look at this diagram omega is square upon k square is positive in the region when omega is greater than omega r or when omega is between omega l and omega h these are the two regions of propagation first one is this when omega is greater than omega r here vp square upon c square is positive second region is this when omega is between omega l and omega h here also vp square upon c square is positive so these are the two regions of propagation and regions of non propagations are when omega is between omega h and omega r this is shown by cross shaded region and this is also region of non propagation when omega is between 0 to omega l
at omega equal to omega p wave travels at the velocity c at omega equal to omega p so what will happen at omega equal to omega p look at the dispersion relation this is the dispersion relation and if we put omega equal to omega p the second term in right hand side will becomes zero at omega equal to omega p and then we have v c square upon v p square equal to one it means v p equal to c so at omega equal to omega p v p equal to c phase velocity will become equal to velocity of light this is also shown in this diagram at omega equal to omega p we see that v p square upon c square is 1 so at omega equal to omega p wave travels at the velocity c for omega less than omega l there is another region of non propagation so extraordinary wave has two regions of propagation separated by a stop band these are the two regions of propagation and it is separated by stop band stop band means this cross headed region which is region of non propagation when frequency omega is between omega h and omega r <laughs>